Hey, what's going on? I'm Dr. Leila Hariri, a family and cosmetic dentist for more than 22 years. And you're listening to Ask Dr. Leila. Anything you need to know about dentistry, we're going to talk about teeth, prevention, oral health, and tons more. So relax, listen, and smile. Good morning, another beautiful day in Dubai. My lovely friend Sarah just sent me a WhatsApp message asking me a dental question. Let's listen in. Hi, Leila. How are you? Hope you and your family are doing great there in Dubai. Just a quick question. So my daughter Lucy, who is four years old right now, we went to visit her dentist here in the US. I want to know, is it okay for her to do it the x-ray? Her age, uh, at her age, is that safe? Thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you, dear Sarah, for that beautiful question regarding um, children's uh, first dental x-rays and uh, when they should be taken. For me, it's around the age of six, only because that's when the permanent teeth come in. And I find um, anything earlier is really not necessary. Um, I like to really have a hold on the teeth that I know they're for life. So I like to start dental x-rays on kids around the age of six. This takes us to our topic of the day, dental x-rays. Dental x-rays can spot troubles early on in your mouth, teeth, gums, and jaws. Treating problems before they get serious can save a lot of money, you guys, and pain, and sometimes even your life. The first question I want to bring out is what type of problems do x-rays help detect? Number one for dentists is decay and for yourselves, especially small areas of decay between teeth that otherwise would not be caught by just the clinical exam. Believe me, with years under my belt, there's still to this day, I can look at teeth and say, you have the most beautiful teeth. And then there we go. We take the dental x-ray and boom, the cavity is there. Uh, Dental x-rays also detect decay beneath existing fillings. Uh, They detect bone loss in the jaw, changes in the bone or root canals due to infection, um, condition and position of teeth to help prepare for tooth implants, braces, dentures, and other dental procedures. And dental x-rays also help with abscesses, which is an infection at the root of a tooth and cysts and some types of tumors, unfortunately, but it's fortunate that at least they get to be detected. In children, x-rays determine, again, number one, decay when it's developing. Um, Also, they can help us um, determine if there is enough space in the mouth to fit all their incoming teeth, if wisdom teeth are developing, and if teeth are impacted and unable to emerge through the gums. Next question that I like to discuss is what are the different types of dental x-rays? There are two main types of dental x-rays. The interoral, which is the x-ray film is inside the mouth, and the extraoral, the x-ray film is outside of the mouth. So let's start with the intraoral. Intraoral x-rays are the most common types of x-rays. Um, There are several types of intraoral x-rays, and they each show different aspects of teeth. Let's start with the bite wings. You hear me often say, it's time to take the bite wings. And in general, bite wings in the U.S., they like to have them taken every six months. Here, I say once a year is fine, and I'll give you exceptions as well. But what are bite wings? Uh, Bite wings show details of the upper and lower teeth in one area of the mouth. Each bite wing shows a tooth from its crown. The crown is the exposed surface, which is above the gums, to the level of the supporting bone. Bite wing x-rays detect decay between the teeth and changes in the thickness of bone caused by gum disease. Bite wing x-rays can also help determine the proper fit of a crown, which is a cap that completely encircles a tooth, or an inlay or an onlay, which are porcelain fillings and bridges. And they can all, we can also see any wear or breakdown of dental fillings. Usually there are two bite wings. So we take one on the right side 
and we take one on the left. And if you ever had me place a crown or an inlay onlay for you guys, um, I always say after I check all thy fittings clinically, I say I'd like to take an x-ray to make sure that everything is perfect on the x-ray as well. So I can see everything that I can't otherwise see clinically. I can check the margin and the fit on the x-ray before I cement it. The next intraoral x-ray is the periapical x-ray. It shows the whole tooth from the crown to the root where the tooth attaches into the jaw. Periapical x-rays detect any unusual changes in the root and surrounding bone structures. Next, we want to touch upon the extraoral x-rays, which are used to detect dental problems in the jaw and the skull. There are several types of extraoral x-rays. The first one is the panoramic, the most common. The panoramic x-ray shows the entire mouth area, all the teeth in both the upper and lower jaws on a single x-ray. It's the big film, as I, as I always say. This x-ray detects the position of fully emerged teeth as well as um, emerging teeth, the ones that are coming through. And you can see impacted teeth and they help diagnose tumors. The next one is the cephalometric x-ray, which is mostly used for the orthodontist, the doctor, the specialist who aligns your teeth for braces or Invisalign. This shows an entire side of the head. This x-ray looks at the teeth in relation to the jaw and profile. Orthodontists use this x-ray to develop each patient's specific teeth realignment approach. And lastly, the comb beam CT, which we have now, is a type of x-ray that creates a 3D image of dental structures, soft tissue, nerves, and bone. It helps guide tooth implant placement and evaluate cysts and tumors in the mouth and face. It also can see problems in the gums, roots of teeth, and jaws. Something that uh, the endodontists love to use the comb beam CT for is it really helps them to see exactly how many roots a tooth has. Because one of the biggest failures in root canal treatment is when um, one or more roots are not filled. But the 2D x-ray shows that they're all filled and then time goes by and then you have an infection. And then the first question is, did the endodontist catch all the roots? So with the comb beam CT, this, this really has helped endodontists. And it helps the implantologist to visualize where they want to do your implants prior to your implant appointment. The next question I want to touch upon is how often should teeth be x-rayed? How often x-rays need to be taken depends on your medical and dental history and current condition. Some people may need x-rays as often as every six months, as the American Dental Association recommends. Others who don't have recent dental or gum disease and who have ongoing scheduled visits with their dentist and hygienists may only need x-rays once a year. New patients may have x-rays taken at their first exam. The first visit x-rays are really important, actually, because they're used to compare with x-rays taken over time to look for problems and unexpected changes. X-rays may need to be taken more often in people at high risk for dental problems. These people include adults with a lot of restorative work, such as fillings and crowns and bridges and implants, to look for decay beneath existing fillings or in new locations. People who drink a lot of sugary beverages, obviously to look for decay. People with periodontal gum disease to monitor bone loss. People who have dry mouth, whether due to medications such as antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs, antihistamines, or health conditions, um, which can damage salivary glands or radiation treatment to the head and neck. Dry mouth conditions causes tooth decay. And smokers. To monitor bone loss that results from gum disease, smokers are at an increased risk of gum disease. And last but not least, are dental x-rays safe? The amount of radiation emitted from x-rays is extremely small. Advances in dentistry such as x-ray machines that limit the radiation beam to a small area, high-speed x-rays, use of lead-lined full-body aprons, 
and the federal laws that require accuracy and safety checks for x-ray machines are a few of the improvements that limit the amount of radiation patients receive. Despite the safety of x-rays, some questions to ask your dentist include, was there something you found in your clinical exam that you feel needs to be further examined with an x-ray, doctor? Or how will these x-rays help guide the treatment plan you have in mind for me? In general, dental x-rays are a very important diagnostic tool. And I know many people are a bit scared, if we can say, about taking dental x-rays from the name x-rays. But uh, hopefully after this podcast, um, you won't fear taking the dental x-rays because of uh, weighing the importance of the information we're gaining from it to the amount of radiation it's really emitting to you with all the advances in dentistry. And if you have any further questions regarding teeth, don't forget to ask Dr. Layla. See you next time.